Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and in this video series, I walk you through the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. Uh, right now, we are concluding our second project, Build a Camper Leaderboard. Um, we built out our three components, uh, the app component, the uh, table or list component, and then the list item component. And just to you know, run it through you again, uh, I'm going to bring up my code editor here. Okay, so we have our, oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, okay, so we have our app, the top, like, most level component, and before it renders, it makes a request to those two API endpoints, it sets the state of our component, and then um, it, inside we nest a camper list that updates depending on, you know, the buttons that we click, and then the camper list, it, it returns a, a table to us. And then there is going to be some list items right here. We, um, I'm going to get out this console.log, and uh, we're going to um, we're going to create like a whole bunch of items for our table. And so we nest, um, you know, like a hundred uh, uh, camper list items right here. Um, items. Though okay, so we're iterating over our campers object that we get as props from our app component, and then uh, we're using the map method. And map, it's going to return like a new array, and um, and then we're just plopping this like array, uh, uh, essentially of components right here. And you can do that, um, but if you if you have like an array full of components, uh, you just need to give it like some key property. Uh, otherwise, it might you know give you a warning or an error or something like that. Uh, so we give it a key prop. We also give it a camper and a number prop. And uh, that gets passed down here. And so we're just printing out the number, the username, the recent and all time points. And this is just wrapped in a TR tag, um, which fits in perfectly right here uh, with our table uh, HTML. So everything looks good. There's just one little thing that we can work on uh, to make better. I'm going to go back to our application. I'm going to close. Um, I just want to close this. Here we go. Okay. And I'm just going to refresh. Look at the page. Okay. You saw, you saw that? You saw that right there? It said, like, okay. And you see it again? Okay. So when we refresh, we get our header, and then for like a, maybe half a second, maybe 600 milliseconds, then the the, the data displays. And, you know, that's nice, but it, wouldn't it be better if we had like a loading message or some kind of spinner um, to kind of like, you know, let us know that the data is being loaded, you know, because this is, you know, it's working, but, um, you know, our users, they, they might be, you know, confused, like, oh, okay, there it is. Um, but anyway, let's display like a loading message uh, first, and then whenever the, um, the data is ready, we'll be able to, um, you know, display it. So uh, let's go in our, um, uh, in our text editor, okay, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it here in my app level component, and uh, I suppose, uh, I suppose, yeah, you could, you could really put this anywhere, but I'm going to put it in my app, and I'm going to write a conditional. So if, okay, so if, I'm going to say if recent campers in my state and all time campers, if that is an empty array, then we should return loading instead of this div. That's all I'm going to do right here. So if this dot state dot recent campers, okay, and this is an array, so if the length is zero, okay, and remember zero is a falsy value in JavaScript, and I'm doing the bang operator here, so if it is zero, and if bang this dot state dot all time campers dot length, if that's also zero, then instead we're going to return um, div and loading. Okay, and if it's on a single line like that, you, you don't need to use the parentheses. It's totally up to you. Okay, um, and then of course we're going to return from the um, you know if it's you know blank and they're both blank, we're going to return um, you know with this text, and this of course will not get run. So now let's save it. Let's refresh. It says loading, and then boom. 
Cool, that's really, really cool. Okay, let's do it again. Reload, loading. Okay, and then great. So it's saying, okay, we're getting the initial render, and initially when our component renders, it's saying, hey, this dot states dot recent campers and all time campers, they're you know they're, they exist, they're there, but they're empty arrays. Uh, their their length is zero, and so we're going to return this. But once the network request finishes from Axios and we update um, our, our state with the, the response from the server, anytime we update our state, our components are going to re-render. So we're going to re-render and we're going to check the condition again. Hey, is this not recent campers uh, zero? No, it's not. In all 10 campers, it's not either. So I'm not going to return from this. It's false. So I'm going to return that. And that's basically what's happening. All right, there's one little thing um, just to, you know, give it some pizzazz. Well, we could, you know, do this you know, text right here, but there's a lot of, you know, React uh, components from GitHub that you can uh, use in your projects um, to, to make your, uh, your project more, you know, beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of people who have built, like, custom spinners, uh, and I'm going to show you one that's really simple to use. So let's go to our terminal. Okay, I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to say npm install dash dash save React let me make this a little bit bigger. React MD Spinner. That's the name of the module. Okay. NPM install, dash dash save, React MD Spinner. Okay. It's a lightweight module, so it shouldn't take too long to install. Almost there. Okay, great. And uh, it looks like it gave us a bunch of. Um, okay, whatever. Ooh, okay, this might cause us a problem here. One second. Uh, I may need to install an older version of it. So I'm going to uninstall, npm uninstall dash dash save. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and peek at my old uh, package.json. Which one am I using? React Indeed Spinner. Okay, I'm going to use version 0.1. Point zero. Okay, that's what I'm going to use right here. Cool. All right, and I'm going to say npm install dash dash save react nd spinner. And if you ever want to, um, you know, install a specific version, you can. Doing it this way gets the most recent version. But uh, to make it work for us uh, with our version of React, I'm just going to get 0 0.1.0, 0, that version. So I'm going to install it again with the updated uh, version number. Let it do its thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. OK. And, okay, that looks better. Um, okay, it's still giving us that warning. Okay, yeah, I think it should work. Uh, anyway, let's get back into it. And I'm going to import that. I'm going to say import MD spinner from React MD spinner. Okay, so now this spinner, it's a component just like, you know, anything else. Um, and we can give it props or, you know, whatever we want to do. In fact, I mean, it's, it's on GitHub and, you know, the, the documentation for it is pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to get rid of this return. And instead, I'm going to give it MD um, spinner. Okay, and uh, I already checked out the docs, and we have to give it just a couple of things. We need to give it a class name. Um, well, you don't have to give it a class name, but if you wanted to style it, you could, you know, call it, um, give it a class name of Spinner. But it does take one prop size, and it has several props, actually, but we're just going to make it really big. And, okay, I'm going to save that, and let's refresh. Okay, cool. So um, now, you know, it has this class name of Spinner, and, uh, you know, it seems to work. We got the nice, beautiful color. Uh, it's appearing here on the top left, but now that you have an element with a class name, you could go into your CSS, and you could, you know, totally, you know, center it on the page, um, you know, make it bigger, you know, do whatever you want to, um, and, you know, and that's it.
Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's try that. I'm going to just say spinner. Uh, let's see. Nope. This should make it. I really suck at um, at CSS, but I think this will horizontally center it for us. Let's save it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I got to dig around with it. This is not working for us, but 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 anyway, like uh, I kind of suck at CSS, and this is not a CSS uh, tutorial. It's a React tutorial, uh, but y'all you know, play around with it. And that's how you learn. You got to play around. Okay, guys. Well, uh, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, let me just uh, commit all of my changes and, and push them up for you guys. Uh, I'm going to say ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to say get status. Here, bah, 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 bah. we're almost done. I just want to push it up and show you where you can find this code. Okay, I'm going to just say git add, git commit, um, and let's just say a finish project. Okay, and git remote v. Have I set up a remote for this? I have, but it's to you know Steven Grider's uh, original remote. Let's take care of this uh, very quickly. So I'm going to go to github.com. Uh, I'm going to create a new repo. Let's see, ba, 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 ba. okay, and this is a, a, a Git tutorial as well. I'm going to create a new uh, repo. I'm going to say FCC uh, Camper Leaderboard. Okay, that seems good. Yep, yeah. and um, the second React challenge at the Free Code Camp. That's good. Now, um, I'm doing this because, remember, we uh, forked and cloned this boilerplate uh, from Steven Grider's Redux Simple Starter. And, um, you know, I can't just, you know, push uh, my repo to it because if I run the command git remote dash v, it, the remotes are pointing to Steven Grider's, and that's not going to work. So I need to write git uh, remote set dash url uh, I believe I write origin, and then the um, then the new whoops. Wait, what? It's called super duper octo invention. I didn't call it that. Uh, what? Did I already create something before? Huh? The, well, one second. Why did it call it super duper? Octo invention. That is so strange. FCC leaderboard. Have I already named something like that? No. That is strange. Okay. Um, anyway, that's. Why did GitHub name it that? That's so weird. Okay. Anyway, who cares? Um, okay. I'm going to just do that. And now if I run git remote v, okay, I get the new um, URL right there. So I can git push origin master it'll push it up here okay cool and um, if I refresh the page cool awesome there is all of the code uh, for my camper leaderboard I would really like to rename it I don't know why it did that so I'm gonna say F FCC I'll just do all the FCC leader board rename. Okay, that's that's much better. So FCC leader board. So if you want to go to this repo online, very simple. You just go to my profile, github.stevenmayu, uh, get, github.com slash stevenmayu slash FCC leaderboard, and here's all of the code for the project that we just built. And uh, yep, everything seems to be working. All right, guys, this was a lot of fun. We talked about so many you know new topics, and uh, it's a lot to learn. But, uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know. Um, I, I love it when people interact with me and, and, uh, and tell me their success stories. So please talk to me. That would be awesome. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to be busy for, for the next week. Uh, I'm moving to a new place to start a new job. Uh, I might make a video about it, but um, give me give me like a week or two to recuperate, you know, settle from the move, and I will upload the videos for Project 3 at freecodecamp.com. Okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye. Boop.